If I was to tell you that either pair of these glasses block out the blue light, you'd probably choose these ones, wouldn't you? They're a little bit more socially acceptable, should we say? But there is a difference with these glasses. And throughout this video, I want to explain exactly what those differences are, why you choose one or the other, and how these glasses can help you sleep, reduce eye strain, and even stop those headaches when you're scrolling your phone late at night or you're busy working at your desk. These glasses have made a huge impact on my life and I cannot wait to tell you about them. Now to talk all things blue light, I've chosen two different brands, one from Barna and the other one from Swanwick Sleep. I obviously own both of these glasses and that's why I feel comfortable to talk about them and I've been using them for a long time, so I've got a few things to say. And yes, I am a little obsessed. The main difference between these two pairs of glasses is the amount of blue light they actually block. Now, to better understand this and to know what the heck I'm talking about and to buy the right pair of glasses for you, we need to know a bit about blue light. So let's start there. Now, I'm no optometrist, but I'm going to explain this in a way that makes sense to me. So you might have seen this color spectrum before. So you'll notice it goes from red all the way down to purple, which we commonly know it as ultraviolet light. Now you'll notice some numbers written on the color spectrum, ranging from 700 down to 400. Now, when we're talking about blue light, these numbers actually mean something and can help you decide if you should buy one pair of glasses over another. So blue light, which is often called high energy visible light, ranges from about 380 nanometers to 500 nanometers. Just keep that number in mind or scribble it down on a piece of paper for a second. So how much blue light do these glasses actually block? Well, when you read different websites, they give you two percentages. The first percentage looks at how much blue light is blocked at the first part of the spectrum. So between 400 or 380-ish and 450. Then they give you a second percentage, which is the higher end of the blue light spectrum where they think there's a bigger impact on sleep. So it's between 450 and 500. Looking at this, these look a little bit more severe, right? They probably have a bigger impact on bl blocking the blue light than these. And that's correct. These Barna glasses block 100% of the blue light under 410 nanometers, but only blocks 45% of the blue light between 410 and 450 nanometers. Whereas in comparison to these glasses from Swanwick Sleep, these block 98% of the blue light from 400 to 500 nanometers. So these have a significant impact on our blue light. Now, this doesn't mean that these glasses are more superior than these. It just means they're used at different times in the day. What do you think so far? Are you enjoying yourself? If you are, I would really appreciate it if you give me a big thumbs up and even consider subscribing to the channel to allow this video to be seen by more people. Thank you very much. If you wear these at the wrong time, such as in the middle of the day, they'll probably make you go to sleep. But if you wear these ones just before bed, they might not block out as much of the blue light as you actually need. So to understand this next part about blue light and wearing these glasses, we need to know a little bit about melatonin, which is our sleep hormone, which yes, you actually might have taken this in the tablet form. This really important hormone helps us go to sleep and to stay asleep. But unfortunately for us, Every single color on the color spectrum that we talked about earlier affects melatonin, but particularly the blue light is what messes around with it the most. If your melatonin detects any sort of light while you're trying to wind down and go to sleep, it just cannot do its job properly. And why we recommend wearing glasses such as these stronger ones to really block out that dangerous part of the blue light spectrum between 450 and 500 nanometers. 
The aim of these glasses with the deeper orange lens is to create that dark environment that melatonin loves. Even though you might be looking on your phone or watching TV, or even if you've got all the lights on in your home, melatonin can't detect that blue light because you're wearing these glasses. So therefore your body starts to just naturally wind down. If you wear glasses like this though, it's only blocking, remember, 45% of that blue light when your body is trying to wind down. So before bed, it's much better to choose these sort of glasses. But during the day, much better to choose these. And let me tell you why. Though you might see mixed reviews about these sort of glasses, often called computer glasses, or as Swanwick Sleep call them, they're day swannies, which look very similar, got a clear lens, similar, but I don't really like the frame as much. But anyway, frames are not what we're talking about here. For me personally, these glasses make a huge difference in regards to headaches and also eye strain when I'm looking at a computer or a screen for too long. Though we are actively trying to block out the blue light by wearing glasses like this, it's important to know that blue light isn't all bad. We actually need it and it's really important to help regulate our body clock and circadian rhythm, which for those of us working a non-traditional schedule, we need all the help we can get. It's also a great source of vitamin D as a lot of our blue light actually comes from the sun. But it's also really important to know that blue light also comes from pretty much every light source in your home and from your devices. So from your laptop, your computer, your tablet, and even your phone. So in summary, do I think you need to buy both pairs of glasses? Yeah, I kind of do. The orange ones are amazing about 90 minutes before you're about to go to sleep. But these guys are great if you're working during the day and you're just trying to stop that eye strain. I'll leave links to both of these glasses in the description below this video. As you're obviously interested in getting better sleep, I think you'll really like a video that I published just last week all about how caffeine can affect your slumber. So click on this box here and watch that video next. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you at the next shift.